Wait, where am I? In my kitchen. I'm renting this kind of wall townhouse for way, way below market price because it's on the outskirts of Shenzhen and needed a lot of work. It was kind of fancy maybe 10 years ago, but Chinese fancy falls apart in three years, so it's still in rough shape in part. For the past few months, I've been doing most of the renovations myself, a little bit every day while I'm not doing bills or editing video. I've slowly added a shower with hot water, done some painting, some light plumbing, put together a shop slash studio area, run network cables. You saw me do that in my other video. And this is the kitchen. Since it didn't have one when I rented it, I had to put it together myself. At first, I was a little embarrassed because I just bought second or third hand commercial kitchen equipment because it costs a lot less than custom cabinets. But my foreign friends told me that bare metal kitchens are actually a trendy style in the West. Anyway, it's not fancy and it looks like a factory kitchen to us Chinese, but it does the job. And I have a nice proper wop burner at least. Here, check it out. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, the idea is I want to do more videos around food and kitchen automation. Maybe do a few cooking videos, but it's always pretty hard to get Chinese companies that make innovative products to send real units because we don't really have the online reviewer culture you do in the West. Normally here, you just pay a celebrity to say that your product is great. So it's a little tough explaining how it works. And then when they know how it works, they want to send the product to an overseas reviewer because they figure people in the West would trust and review more from someone in their own country than they would a Chinese person like me. So I end up having to buy a lot of the stuff I review. And that's tough with kitchen automation because it's usually pretty pricey. Still, I have to start somewhere to show them what I do. Fortunately, a local company is doing a Kickstarter for their travel maker, coffee maker, the Bean Cube. Free in one, on the go automatic coffee maker. It's a simple product, so it won't take long. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the measuring cup. Usually you only put around 12 grams of the coffee beans. When you open it, the lid, this is where you put the coffee beans. And this is the cup. This is the filter. There is the hook on the side. I want to place it like this. And uh, we can put the coffee beans now. Okay, so this is the button press twice, it start, it will start. So you just place it like this. Okay, then you remove the grinder. You see there is the uh, coffee powder. Here we'll pour some hot water in. Okay, I think that's good enough for me. Let me put the filter uh, in the sink. And this is the coffee. You can add uh, sugar, milk, 
But uh, the first time, of course, we will try it black without nothing, try it black. Hmm, not bad. Still a little bit hot, but uh, when it cooled off, I will add some milk and try it again. Okay, pros and cons. Cons. The ergonomics need work. The design seems to have been adapted from capsule coffee machines, which is a little awkward when you are grinding beans. There's also no way to open up and clean the grinding area. Pros, it makes good coffee, much better than you are going to get on the road. It's also a really compact unit. I don't think it makes sense for home use when you can get both a better full-size countertop grinder and coffee maker. But when space is at a premium and you really want fresh grind coffee when you travel, it's a good option. And Starbucks adds up pretty fast, so it's also a cheaper option. If you want one, I'll put the link in the description box. Small reminder, the subscribe star and Kofi links are also in the description box. And while I joked about what I'll spend the money on, the truth is sponsorship really does help me produce better videos that I can do on a tight budget. Anyway, that's it for today. Want to see me reveal more some specific kitchen tag? Tell me what or better yet, ask the company to send me a review unit. I would love to do more kitchen related reviews. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.